Over 40 million adults in the United States grapple with anxiety disorders. That's the equivalent of the entire population of Argentina. It's a startling statistic, but it's also a testament to the shared human experience of anxiety. It's a common visitor for many of us, but it doesn't have to take over our lives. Imagine a country with a rich history, a vibrant culture, and a population of around 19 million people. This is Romania, a land of stunning landscapes, medieval castles, and bustling cities. Now think about this. The number of adults dealing with anxiety disorders in the United States is almost equivalent to the entire population of Romania. It's as if every single person in this beautiful country was living with anxiety. It's a staggering number, isn't it? This comparison not only puts the prevalence of anxiety into perspective, but also underscores the need for understanding, empathy, and effective coping strategies. Imagine for a moment the sound of bustling city streets, the honking of horns, the murmur of conversation, the rush of traffic. Now replace that with the rustling of leaves, the chirping of birds, the gentle rush of a stream. Just the thought can bring a sense of calm, can it? Now let's meet some individuals who have found their own ways to replace the city's noise with nature's symphony. One of them is a woman named Sandra who, after years of battling anxiety, discovered the transformative power of mindfulness. For me, Sandra says, it was like finding my own personal reset button. It helped me to step back from my worries to see them for what they were, just thoughts, not facts. Then there's Mike, a former soldier who found solace in physical exercise. I never thought jogging could be my therapy, Mike laughs, but here we are. It's not just about the endorphins, though. It's about proving to myself every day that I'm stronger than my anxiety. And let's not forget about Maya, who found relief in the most surprising of places, a healthy diet. I was skeptical at first, she admits, but once I started eating better, I started feeling better. It was like my body and mind were finally working together instead of against each other. As we journey through life, we all encounter moments of anxiety, whether it's the anticipation of a big meeting, the stress of a looming deadline, or the worry about a loved one's health, these moments can feel overwhelming. But remember, you are not alone. You are part of a community of over 40 million strong, all finding their own ways to cope, to thrive, to conquer. And so as we come to the end of this journey, let's remember to be kind to ourselves. Let's remember that it's okay to have bad days, to feel anxious, to struggle because it's in those moments that we find our strength, our resilience. We learn to navigate the storm, to find our calm amidst the chaos. And remember, you are not alone. You are part of a community that understands, that cares, that supports. And together we can turn the tide on anxiety. One breath, one step, one day at a time.